All right, BeFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday. Welcome, I'm your host, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes, here with our Exchange BeFit program. All right, team, as we get settled in, find our towels, find our water, find any dumbbells that you have accessible to you. That'll be great to really scale up any specific movement that we're gonna run through for today. But first and foremost, welcome in. If you're new to the program, this is our chance, our live BeFit workout with a chance to really move our bodies and progress, whether it be a cardio-based workout or a resistance-based workout utilizing dumbbells or a combination of both, like it is today, a hybrid-based workout. What's great about today's workout is you can go at your own pace, okay, team? We're focusing on form, on control, while utilizing specific uh, dumbbells during specific movements, but uh, our BeFit Live programs are geared to really strengthen you and progress you throughout your daily lifestyle, right? Take these movements that we execute here and translate them to your daily lifestyle. If you're traveling or, tra or if you're training for the ACFT or your physical fitness test, some of these movements are really great, really beneficial to help scale up your fitness level and we can meet you at your fitness level wherever you may be at for today. But as you get settled in, We'll run through uh, the workout for today. I'll, work, I'll run through the movements for today, the timing structure. I'll demo each movement. That way we know exactly what we're gonna get into. And then we'll start off with our workout. But before that, leave us a note in the comments below. I have my page up as well. So I'm able to see exactly uh, what you see on your end. So if you have any questions, any comments, uh, anything that you would like to uh, pinpoint or dial in, let me know. Drop a note in the comments below. Um, and let me know what you're thinking as well. Let me know what your favorite movement is for today, what the most challenging movement is for today. Uh, all of that feedback, I'd love to hear, team. So drop a note in the comments below, and now is a great time before we get started to really share this workout with any friends, any family, any spouses, coworkers, right? Let's help keep each other accountable to lead that BeFit lifestyle, BeFit Nation. All right, so once again, as we get started, let me run through the movements for today, team. All right, again, today is a hybrid-based workout. So with that, we're going through four different movements. Movement number one will be a sumo squat to an upright row. So with movement number one, we're really using a combination of some lower body and upper body strength with our dumbbells. So if you have a pair of dumbbells, that's great. If you have one dumbbell, even uh, that could work out just the same, all right? We can execute this movement with one or two dumbbells. All right, team, movement number two, we have a dumbbell push press. So a little bit of lower body activation with some upper body shoulder isolation with that push press. So we're pressing those dumbbells overhead. Movement number three, we have a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So we're gonna send one leg back and I'll demo each of these movements as well right afterwards. Uh, reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So again, a combination of lower body and upper body movements. And movement number four, we are on the ground, all right, team, in a high plank position with 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups, all right, team? The timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 work, 20 rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds, all right, team? Sound good, sound great? I knew it would, all right? Again, leave us a comment, share this workout with anyone that you may uh, know within our Facebook community team. All right, let's start off with demos. That way we know exactly what we're gonna get into. Listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques on to help execute this movement properly. So we're gonna take a pair of dumbbells, or if you have one dumbbell, we have a sumo squat upright row, all right? With that sumo squat, that just means we're gonna take our foot placement wider than shoulder width apart. So if our squat is here at shoulder width apart, we're taking just a step outside of that with our toes flaring out just a little bit for comfort level. Now our knees wanna go in the direction of our toes. So as we pick up our weight here, standing position, setting ourselves up into that sumo squat, we're looking at engaging a little bit of our lower glute, uh, glutes, quads, hamstrings into that sumo squat. So palms are facing us, shoulders roll back, nice proud chest. We're gonna push those hips back and down, keeping our chest up through that sumo squat. From here, you're gonna come up into an upright row, left and right on our shoulders, on our elbows, excuse me, as we isolate that nice strong pull, dumbbells right underneath our chin, controlling that weight on the way down. Again, sumo squats into an upright row. What's great about these movements is you can go as fast or as slow as you need. All right, team. So as fast as slow as you need, find a tempo that's comfortable for you. And if you're looking to get your heart rate really elevated, look at repping out these reps, all right? 
Maybe it's a little bit lighter in weight, but a higher tempo. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number one, sticking with the pair of dumbbells. Movement number two, find your foot placement, right? Nice, solid foundation, that's what it's gonna take here. Feet shoulder width apart, and as always, soft bend at our knees. Never try to knock, never lock out our knees here. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on our knees. So a nice soft bend. From here, our dumbbells are in a front rack position. You'll notice my wrist is gonna be directly over my elbow. That's gonna be our front rack and neutral grip. So our palms are facing one another. From here, we're gonna absorb some of that weight into a quarter squat, and then press up into an overhead press, locking out those elbows and shoulders are nice and high, controlling that weight on the way down. Again, load up and press up, all right? Feeling that activation in our shoulders, a little bit of low body activation with that nice soft quarter squat into that overhead press. All right, team. Uh, this would be a great time with that added lowering phase in that quarter squat that really allows it to use that momentum to press up. So if you can go heavier, let's go heavier with that push press. All right, movement number three, sticking with the pair of dumbbells here. <clears throat> We're gonna come to the top of our workout space. We have reverse lunge with the bicep curl. All right, so a combination movement here. Again, a little bit of variety here, working our lower body. And then we have a bicep curl at the bottom of our position. So feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna step back into our reverse lunge, drop that rear knee down. You'll notice about a 90 degree bend on both front and rear legs, comfortably dropping down, curling up at the bottom of the position, utilizing our core to stabilize, taking our time through this movement, but keeping our chest up. So reverse lunge with the bicep curl at the bottom. Now, if the bicep curl is a little bit uncomfortable for you at the bottom, let's stand up and then go into our bicep curl at the top of the position. All right, team? That'll be a great modification right there. And movement number four, last but not least, within today's resistance based hybrid style of workout, we have 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. All right, so we're gonna get down into our high plank position, just like we would to set up for a push-up. High plank just means our hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders, our hips square to the floor, and our feet are shoulder width apart. All right, hips square to the floor once again. From here, we're gonna drive our knees into our chest with 10 mountain climbers, all right? At your pace, at your tempo, out of your 10, compose yourself. We're down for two push-ups, and then we're back in to 10 mountain climbers. So 10 and two is gonna be the rep count within our push-ups. Um, that's gonna be the four movements for today. Again, team, great to have you in. Great to uh, come along with us. Carla, I see you here. Thanks for sharing today's workout. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them here today. Uh, nice encouraging messages with our BFit Nation community always goes a long way with helping and supporting one another team. All right, again, water settled in, towel settled in, dumbbell settled in. I think we're good to go team. So let's start off with getting our bodies prepared and ready to work here, right? We never wanna start at a cold uh, type of status with our bodies. So let's get us warmed up here. So we're gonna take that right leg with some dynamic stretching. We'll take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back, pushing those hips forward, left arm goes up and overhead. You should feel that stretch in your quad, your hips, your shoulder for mobility work and your mid to upper back. Take your time through this movement, left leg and right leg, go ahead and alternate. Finding our breath here, bringing that back down to comfort level. Knowing that we're gonna put in some work for today and we're gonna be stronger just a little stronger than when we started, all right? Go at your own pace with these dynamic stretches. If you need to sit in any movement a little longer, let's go ahead and do that as well. Last three seconds here, two, one. All right, team, nice wide stance here. Our toes are gonna be fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to the left and to the right. I think too aggressive here, but you'll feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Some blood flow moving towards our lower limbs here ankles, mobility wise, just feeling us, feeling us warming up here, right? Getting our bodies warmed up, getting some blood flow to our lower extremities and to specific muscle groups that we're about to work. Keeping that chest up, you can go a little quicker if you'd like. Last three, two, 
one. All right, team, standing up nice and tall here. We're gonna take a step up to the top of our workout space. We're gonna take a reverse lunge with an overhead reach. Again, two for one here. Since we do have some reverse lunge uh, movements in today's workout, this is a great way to warm up to the movement. Drop that rear down. So right leg is back, right arm is up, and we are reaching over to our left, feeling that stretch in your lats, mid to upper back, and shoulders, standing back up to standing and alternating. And this can be, again, as fast or as slow as you need. If you need to set in, if your hips are a little tight, go ahead and set in this movement a little bit longer, pausing at the bottom, one and two and three, and you're back up. Again, about 30 seconds for each of these. Good. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. All right, team. Last one here since we do have some shoulder activation with our push ups and our push presses. Let's go ahead and go into some YTW. So we're going to stand at the back of the space here. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to find our center here. From here, we're going to go up into a big Y formation with our hands. I was just thinking about my crew singing YMCA here. A big T formation, so thumbs are facing the back of the room, shoulder blades are rolling back, squeezing together, and a big W with a smile, because I know we're singing. All right, team, big Y up here, up top. Find our breath, nice deep breath in. Exhale, big T. Again, you should feel some activation, some warm up in our shoulders here. Big W here, shoulders rolled back. Good, let's go a little bit more, a little faster. A little bit quicker tempo here. And the last one here, do your big Y left and right, up top, squeezing to the back. And a big W. <sighs> nice deep breath in, exhale. Good job. Take a second here to freestyle anything that you may need. As we get set up, I'll we'll set up the timer here and we should be good to go. Take a quick water break if you need to. And again, today's workout, we have a hybrid style of workout. So if you're just joining us in today's workout, I'll go through the movements very quickly here. Movement number one, A is a sumo squat to an upright row, utilizing dumbbells on all three movements. Movement number two is gonna be a dumbbell push press, absolutely. Movement number three will be a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. And movement number four, 10 mountain climbers and two push ups, team. All right, hope we grab some water here. Let's get going. Fred, very nice to see you as well. Very nice for the movements, I'm sure. So let's get it in, let's get ready here. All right, we got our timer up and going. Find those dumbbells here. I lower this volume. <laughs> Don't want that in the mic. All right, 10 seconds here, team. We are up and running. All right, up in five, Todd. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Nice wide stance here. Hands are facing the back of the room here. We have a sumo squat into a nice upright row, okay? Again, two for one on our action here. So pushing those glutes back and down, keeping our chest up, shoulders rolled back. We'll drop down to our comfort level and raise up to our comfort level. We have 15 seconds left. If you have one dumbbell, let's drop to one here and you can go up into your upright row, actually. Switch that grip to that middle grip. Down and up. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. Good job, team. A little variation there. Variety of movement. So sticking with two dumbbells here, we have dumbbell push press. All right. 10 seconds of recovery here, then we'll jump into our 40 seconds of work. Again, 40 on, 20 off, four rounds. Grabbing our weight here. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. About a quarter squat here. Absorb that weight and thrust and press up. So using our shoulders to get out of that lower hole here. Again, keeping our dumbbells at a front rack position. Our wrists are stacked right over our elbows. That's gonna give us some more support. If we're here, not too comfortable. Or here, or here. So, nice press position here. Again, round one, we'll learn the movements. And round two, we'll really push through, scale up, execute. Last five seconds to your team. Out in three, two, and one. Good job. All right, sticking with the parabells here, reverse lunge to bicep curl. Again, two for one here. We have shoulder activation, different part of our shoulder. Working on some bicep curls here. 
full body workout for today. Again, set yourself up, top of the space. We're gonna take one leg, extend it back into your reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down into your bicep curl. And we'll come back to standing position, all right? Take your time, work through these movements. Again, what's great about these movements is you can really scale up the movement by just increasing the tempo. That'll really help elevate your heart rate. Drop that rear knee down. Good job, work through at your own pace. 12 seconds here. Good job, team. All right, finish it out, Beat Fit Nation. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, dropping the weight here. Taking that knee down on deck here, we have 10 and two here, 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. So really think about that hand being directly over your shoulder. Three seconds here, two, one, and we are up into that high plank position, driving our knees into our chest. Out of that 10, control yourself here into your two strong push-ups. All right, team, I don't think I mentioned this, but if for some reason we need to regress, let's drop down to our knees, lead with our chest into our push-up, and then you're back up into that high plank, driving those knees in towards our chest here. Our head is looking right in between our hands into our push-ups, one, two, Last three, two, finish this out, and time. Good job. This is where you get 60 seconds here. 60 seconds to catch our breath here, recover, kind of switch that mentality here. Read our bodies, see where we're at for today, see where we're at fitness-wise, and see where we can scale up. All right, is it increasing our tempo? Is it increasing our weight selection? Let's do it, same as I come closer here. Any questions, any comments, BFit Nation, let me know. Always great to see you out here in Facebook land. 25 seconds here to reset, and we will start round two. All right, team. We are up and running in a few. Round two. Sumo squat to a high pull coming up. Nice wide stance, wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are flared out just a little bit. All right, team, here we go. Pushing those hips back, keeping that chest up. Nice strong pulls here. Again, in your tempo, your control. Deep breath in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Breath cadence helps out a lot when we are lifting some weight here. Good job. Good, 13 and out here. For some reason, if you have a little bit of a heavier weight, cannot lift up into that high rise, let's go into that sumo pulse. Two, one, good job. Recover here, 20 seconds. Again, what's great about these movements is you can really regress and maybe eliminate that overhead or high pull and strictly focus on some of these uh, single movements out of a lower body or single movements out of an upper body. All right, dumbbell push press coming up. 40 seconds on the clock. We're working through, team. Good, make sure to absorb that weight just a little bit. It's not a squat, but more of a quarter squat. Just bending those knees ever so slightly here to engage our lower body quads, glutes, and into our shoulder press. Controlling that weight on the way down as well. Good. Good job, team. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Absorb that weight and explode up. Good. Out in three, two, and time. Good work. Recover here, 20 seconds. All right, B-Fit Nation. Stay with us here. 10 seconds here. Reverse lunge to bicep curl coming up. Let's get ready. In three, two, one. Here we go, team. Again, if we need a bicep curl at the top of our movement, let's go ahead and do that. That's always there as well. If our stability isn't there today, let's curl at the top of the movement. 
It's a nice benefit about curling at the bottom. It's forcing us to stabilize into that split stance, engaging our core, making it just a little bit more challenging in that low position. Good job. Take your time here, 10 seconds. Good. Out in five, three, two, one, and good work. All right, team. Find the space on the floor here. Time to engage our core. Core and push-up. So we're hitting it all here, team. We have chest, we have lower body, quads, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, mid to upper back. We got it, team. High plank position. Coming up, 10 and two here. Good, push through. Out of your 10, give me those two push-ups. Good job. Again, a modification is gonna be off of our knees, leading with our chest, like so. Nice control, head is looking down. Hands are right at chest level. Good job, out in four. Two, one, and time. Recover here. Stand up nice and tall. Take that drink. Push through. Good work. We're halfway there, team. All right, BFit Nation. Coming in close here. Catching our breath here. Towel off, wipe off again. 60 seconds. This is a great time to really recalibrate. See where we're at fitness wise and see how we can push through here, team. BFIT Ambassador Roy with us here with our Exchange BFIT program. A whole new workout for us today, hybrid style. Hybrid, why? Because we really get to control the tempo. Increase your tempo, increases our heart rate on any specific movement out of the four. 15 here, team, find our breath. Stay dialed in, stay pushing, stay pressing. Sumo squat to upright row. Stay with us, Beef Fit Nation. Here we go. Sumo squat, upright row, starting in two, one, and we are down and up. Good. Moving with the purpose here today, really think about engaging our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads into that sumo squat, controlling that momentum up into that upright row, utilizing our shoulders to pull out of that squat. Good. 13 seconds here, out in 10. Good work team, keeping that head up, keeping that chest up on the way down, not facing the floor. Two, one, and time, good job. Shaking it out real quick. Woo. A little bit of a hand clap from the audience. There it is. Eight seconds here, dumbbell presses coming up. Grabbing our weight, sticking with our tempo. Feet, shoulder width apart, makes a difference. Soft bend at our knees, and we are pressing up. Good, absorb that weight into that overhead press. Good, 27, controlling our weight. Again, what's great about this movement, as we're pressing, we get our shoulder activation, lower body activation, some tricep activation out of that press. Last 10, team. Out an eight. Can we double time? Five seconds and we're out. Three, two, one. Good job. 20 seconds to recover here. Finding our space, finding that quick sip of water if we need. You'll be rewarded after this set. Two more sets. Good job, team. Grabbing those weights. <laughs> All right, reverse lunge bicep curl coming up. <laughs> Halfway there. That's when you know it's a good workout. Roy got lost. Down to that reverse lunge. Nice strong curl here. Good. Again, at your fitness level here, team. If your reverse lunge is here and here, that's okay. That's all right. Stand back. Bicep curl up top, reverse lunge, a little bit of a dip here, drive back up, reset, bicep curl. 
Last three, two, one. Good work. All right. High plank position, 10 and two. Again, 10 and two is our rip count here. 10 mountain climbers, two push ups, 10 seconds. Five and out, team. Five and up, actually. All right, here we go. In two, in one, high plank. Again, 10 and two here. Keeping our back nice and flat. Knees driving into our chest. Be mindful of our foot placement as well. Try to keep our feet at least shoulder width apart. That can help in stabilization into your push ups. Good. Good job, team. Stay with me. Good. Out in seven. Keep digging. Out in five. Three, two, finish it out. <laughs> and stand up nice and tall. Regain our composure here. Standing up. Finding that breath of air here. B Fit Nation, how are we doing, team? Stick with me. <laughs> Christine, so good to see you here. Absolutely, thank you so much. You feel the feeling the burn here. <laughs> Absolutely, team. Emily, good to see you in here. You know, from hybrid workouts to rows, we can do it all here, team, right? <laughs> 25 seconds here. This is a great time to find our breath, find our hydration. Wipe that sweat off because it is getting intense in here. If it is hot where you are, let's push through, team. 13 seconds here, coming up on our first set, dumbbell sumo squat upper row. All right, team. We are up in three, two, one. Set yourself up here. Again, glute activation into our sumo squat. Push those hips back, knees track towards the direction of our toes. Good. Into that upright row. Chest is up. Good. 23 and we're out, team. Stay with us here. With a smile on our face for this round. Good. Last round, best round. Let's make it happen. 10 seconds here. <laughs> Five and out, team. Good. Keeping that chest up. Nice strong pulls out of that low squat. Good job. Take that time. Take that time you need. Last set, best set. Last round, best round. Stick with us, team. <laughs> We're looking good. Stay with us. Eight seconds. Again, hybrid workout for today. Tempo is what it's all about. Increase our heart rate by increasing our tempo. Squat. I'm sorry. Push press here. Good. Get our hands are in that neutral grip. Changing our grip changes a lot of the movement here. If we were into that palms facing forward press, it would feel a lot different. Good. All right, team, stay with us. Good. Last 10 and we're out. Finishing this round with a smile for sure. Out of three, two, one, and time. Recover here. Keeping with some dumbbells. Not full this round. Reverse lunge, bicep curl, 10 seconds. We were playing this game hot. Five seconds and we are up, team. Stay with us. All right. Two, one, find our space. Into that reverse lunge. Again, bicep curl at the top or at the bottom of the movement. At the bottom, it's really a progression. Forcing us to stabilize, engaging our core. Nice balance, if you will. And standing back up. Drive up out of that rear toe. Toes. Good job, team. Again, keeping that chest up. 12 and out. Nice control on our resistance days. In control of the weight. Out in two. Last rep here, standing back up. Good job, team. Good job. Dropping those weights. You won't see that again unless you play this workout back. All right, team. 10 and two. Again, our rep count. Last and final set. 
Last and final round. Let's make the most of the team. Stay with us. High plank position. Driving up. 10 and 2 here. If you want to go into your hand release push up, it's a great time to do it here. Really forcing us to start from zero. ACFT approved. <laughs> this feels like 10. <laughs> Good job, team. Halfway there. Push through. Add in 12. Less than that. Good. Last three, two, one, and recover here. Grab that towel, grab that water, team. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> Applause here. A little appreciation from me to our BFIT Nation team. Again, not easy work here. Not easy work. Consistency, dedication here, putting in the time, putting in the effort goes a long way, progressing, strengthening, trying to reach our health, our wellness, our lifestyle goals, whatever they may be, team. Our exchange family is here with you. Coming down here. Uh, good job, Eric. Let's take a moment here. No expert, but I've worked out at home. And you only have your dumbbell. That's great. No. Um, Depends on how many days you were, we were training, Eric, how much rest, how much recovery we were taking. Remember, recovery is just as important as the hard work that we put in. Breaks are fine, breaks are welcome, right? We will meet you at your fitness level, okay, team? No matter where you are, keep pushing, keep pressing. A lot of the times, our mind says to stop, but our bodies will push through little by little, team. We can strengthen where our weakness may be Strengthen that up for the next week and the next week and the next week and before you know it You're gonna be hitting those goals that you'd like to achieve where you started and the progression if you continue to dedicate and keep consistent and Really focus on yourself just a little bit more great job Eric. Thanks for sharing four to five days a week, which is which is great, which is a good healthy amount if you will uh, I'd, I'd see I'd I'd focus on some of our holistic approaches right make sure our nutrition is complete, make sure our sleep is, com is complete and well, right? Give the most amount and focus on our nutrition, on our sleep, on our recovery process, because it is a holistic approach for our BFIT program and for our bodies to really feel that progression, to feel that advancement, right? We wanna make sure that we're kind of looking at this from a 360 uh, degree standpoint with our BFIT program as well. If you need any additional information here team let's go into our exchange stores let's talk about our exchange for for a second and if you're looking for any additional supplementation as far as um fitness gear fitness for sportwear fitness trackers that can really help dial you into your metrics as far as how well you sleep how many steps you're taking a day how many calories we're burning throughout the day uh the exchange has fitness trackers to help utilize our tools and technologies that we may need to really focus on dialing in our fitness levels. Um, uh, keep it up, Eric, keep it up. Keep it up, you're there. Um, again, dedication, keep consistent. And uh, you know, every body is different. Every body is different. So um, push, keep pushing, and you will reach your goals as well. Again, um, great questions, great comments here. Uh, speaking of recovery, speaking of nutrition, uh, those two combined. If you go out into our exchange wellness services, our malls, we have wellness services that can help with recovery, that can help kind of build a better you, if you will, from the inside out. I know a lot of times we focus on that hard work that we put in, just like Eric's saying. Uh, focus on that, those wellness services. We have those available to you as well, whether it be chiropractic care, cryotherapy at some installations and expanding. Uh, we also have uh, durable medical equipment that can help brace yourself and and really support you with any type of uh, gear as far as um, medical equipment that you may need, team, uh, as far as optical care, dental care. Uh, remember to think about this as a holistic approach, that 360 approach, if you will, okay? Uh, heading on out into our exchange restaurants where we have more than 1,600 exchange restaurants that can help build a better you with a focus on nutrition. Surf through each one of those restaurants, dial in our nutrition, think about uh, a a well-balanced meal uh, that can get us from A to B, B to C. 
And speaking of those in between, if you head on out to our express stores, we have options with our healthier choice shelf tags where we can take a focus on smart snacking options. Uh, every, pro, every item and every product that you will see with this tag included right underneath it uh, is, really takes the guesswork out of smart snacking options. It's already been deemed maybe a, a low in sodium or a low in fat or a high in protein, uh, things of that nature that can really help smart snacking options and refuel us and get us from that A to B, that B to C momentum, if you will, team, all right? And if you are looking for any additional information, uh, Eric and others, uh, look for look at our exchange hub, right? So we have this exchange hub that has a wealth of information. If you go to shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit, or you can scan a QR code that may be up on screen right now, just like that. That'll take you to this page right here where we have additional workouts. We have a wealth of information on movements, on recovery, on running, and on nutrition, wellness, and gear. If you're looking for what wellness services you have at your installation, check the hub, right, under our wellness category, and we can dial in our installation. Check for your installation right there. It'll be a nice little banner. Uh, click on that, and that'll take you directly to your installation that you can surf through, and it'll tell you exactly what wellness services that we offer for you around your area team, all right? That's just a, a glimpse, that's just a highlight of our BeFit programs and the 360 approach that we take for a holistic approach team, all right? I know our BeFit Live programs focus on some of the fitness side, the movement side of our BeFit program, but we also have that wellness, the nutrition, the smart snacking options along with nutrition, uh, the recovery, the importance of sleep, everything that you need, our exchange, BeFit family in our exchange stores and shopmyexchange.com has that for you just as well. Okay, team, don't forget it. And as always, uh, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes here uh, signing off with a great start to the week, team. Great work today. Way to push through. It was not an easy one. Carry this momentum throughout the week. We will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. A whole new workout. All workouts have been different uh, throughout the year and a half work worth almost uh, 92 93 episodes that we are on right now so a lot of fitness related categories and workouts that are available to you on our facebook page under the bfit playlist team and youtube at, doc, at youtube as well if that's your platform of choice at shop my exchange hit that bfit playlist subscribe hit the bell we know what to do team all right as always great thing uh great work today um Eric, we will just, yeah, we will, I'll, I will hit you in the comments below. Uh, great work today, team. Um, way to put in the work, way to stay dedicated, way to stay consistent, and love to see our BFIT Nation progressing, striving, and reaching our goals. All right, team. Have a great rest of your week. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes signing off. We'll see you.